Well, in political coverage tonight, the clock has started on the temporary reprieve that ended the longest partial government shutdown in history. Congress has until February 15th to come up with a deal on border security that President Trump will support. Nicole Killian has the latest from Washington. President Trump urged Democrats to negotiate over the next three weeks to find a solution on border security that includes funding to build a border wall. In a series of tweets Saturday morning, Mr. Trump said, 21 days goes very quickly. Will not be easy to make a deal. Both parties very dug in. We will build the wall. The president signed a continuing resolution passed by the House and Senate Friday night, ending the longest partial government shutdown in history. I want to thank all of the incredible federal workers and their amazing families who have shown such extraordinary devotion in the face of this recent hardship. The temporary deal came on the same day many furloughed federal workers missed their second paycheck, but there is still plenty of uncertainty with the threat of another shutdown looming next month. We don't know how we're going to pay our car payments, our house payments, our rent, our child care. We can't keep doing this. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says she's willing to negotiate with Mr. Trump, but she's resisted the president's calls for a border wall. Democrats are committed uh, to border security, and we think we have some better ideas about how to do so that uh, protect our border, honor our values, and are cost effective. As federal workers head back to work, the Smithsonian Museums and National Zoo are also ramping to reopen by next Tuesday. Nicole Killian, CBS News, the White House.